you know, we we're obviously in a tough stretch, and um, it's not easy. Perseverance was kind of the word today in chapel, and um, it, it really hits home. Um, don't know if I've been through a stretch like this um, as a player or as a coach. I might have. I've been doing it so long, I might have, but I don't remember it, um, at least with the results. But I do know we're very limited, and we just went – we're going through. we got one more game in this incredible stretch of – I mean, it was – it was obvious, especially second half, um, who was the rested team. And uh, they're a better team right now, obviously. But our guys are giving us everything they got. We got a lot of guys. I thought Will's tank was on empty. We got a lot of, a lot of guys with some empty tanks. And um, we just got to fight through it and you know try to get, try to get our tanks uh, up a little bit for this next one on Friday, which is not going to be easy. They're playing as well as anybody. But I, I do. The results aren't what we want, but the guys are giving us everything they got. I, I know that. Um, I see it in the locker room. I see it out on the court. Uh, they're paying attention in film. Um, and, and I thought uh, for those things, we're, you know, we're very pleased. We just – obviously when our – when we're, our energy drops or we get tired, um, it's just um, our defense really suffers. And I thought it really suffered in the second half. I thought offensively – we did enough good things. You know, we made nine threes. We just did back to back games. San Diego State was really um, the exact same thing. Uh, the game was lost at the free throw line. Um, one team one team gets 22 points at the line, the other team gets nine. And that was the exact same thing that happened to San Diego State. So we, we've just got to figure out. I, I think our guys are, are playing hard and doing a lot of good things. We just got to figure out how we can get some points at the free throw line because when you just look at it, you know, we we shot 55% uh, for the game. They shot 51. They made 10 threes. We made nine. They made 25 field goals. We made 27. Um, they get 27 rebounds. We get 23. They had 16 assists. We got 16 assists. Uh, the difference is free throw line. Um, so I, I just – I don't fault our guys' effort at all. I, I think our effort has been really good. And it's a tough stretch where we've lost a lot of games in a row. And um, we just got to stay positive and, um, and keep grinding, keep working, and persevere, persevere through this rut that we're in right now. And I will say I'm, I, I, I appreciate Grant. Uh, he's nowhere near 75 or 80% uh, of who Grant is. And um, just getting out there and trying. And, you know, he gets 11 points, seven assists. Um, you know, at least him being out there uh, gave us a little bit to where we, our minutes were uh, spread out a little bit more. And I, I just appreciate him trying uh, because it's not easy as an athlete um, to play when you know you're not 100%. But it speaks volumes to me that him knowing he wasn't 100% still trying to do it. And he's hurting right now, so we'll have to see how things work on Friday. But I know that foot's bothering him. He got stepped on uh, midway through the second half and um, wasn't the same. I probably should have taken him out, but he's such a competitor. Uh, I knew he wanted to play. Questions for Coach? Coach, um, beyond Grant, the other backcourt, you know, Dez was spectacular. And, and I, I think you were probably looking for him to do that, just not necessarily 36 points, but to break out, right? Well, he's been doing that. His last two games have been terrific. I mean, his road trip uh, was outstanding. So this isn't just, again, obviously 36 is a little different. But, no, I don't expect him to average 36. Um, but his last three games have been really good. I mean, his efficiency has been good. He's not taking tough shots. Um, and I've, I've said it before, when he takes good shots – he has a chance to be as good a shooter as there is, and he's proven that in the last three games. I think he's really played at a high level, not just of what he's done offensively, but defensively. He had the matchup of Stevens, and Stevens is a great guard in this league, and I thought he did a really good job making things hard on Stevens. We just we didn't do a good job on Roddy, and Roddy made a lot of tough shots. Um, not a lot of games. He's probably made four threes. I, I just thought it, Roddy was on point tonight, and he's really hard to guard when he – when he's like that. And uh, so he was a tough matchup for us. But I thought more was probably the difference. And, that you know, given, you know, he, he's somebody that averages six, seven points and he got 22. So I thought that was huge for them. 
Coach, you touched on this already, but the last time we were in here for a post game was you know Utah State game. Would, would you call it effort wise and, and team wise a complete turnaround since that point, or not quite? Good? Oh, there's no question. And now looking back at that game, uh, we had no Warren and and Grant was hurt. You know, Grant Grant went missed his last ten shots. That's not Grant. Grant hadn't done that in a game in his career. Um, so he was already dealing with the foot. He just hadn't had the foot. He hadn't had the foot taken care of yet <laughs> and seen a doctor. But he wasn't himself either. But our our energy level was low against Utah State, uh, and our effort was low. Since then. Uh, I've been extremely pleased with how hard these guys are try playing, how hard they're trying. Uh, they're doing a lot of positive things. So it, um, I'm enjoying coaching this group. I just don't enjoy the results, and I, I don't enjoy seeing guys that are frustrated of putting in the time and they're not being rewarded with wins. Uh, but as I told them, if the effort's there, you give yourself a chance. If the effort's not there, you got no chance. And we just got to keep grinding through it and – get a break here or there, um, and you know, hopefully get some guys back healthy as well because I think that would help this team too. But uh, guys are doing a lot of good things. You know, We've had some guys play some really good minutes, uh, playing extended minutes. I just thought a couple of them today looked a little bit more tired than what we saw on the road trip and uh, probably, probably meaning so as well. Coach, you've been singing the praises of Blackshear lately. What did you see from him tonight and what he did? Yeah, I just thought he was solid. You know, five assists, one turnover. He got his four rebounds. He's learning to play minutes now. Um, so he's getting a lot of minutes with guys out. Um, you know, if he makes free throws, he's probably at 10 and five. So I, I just think he's doing a lot of good things. He's got to stay aggressive for us because when he's aggressive, it really helps us. And when he's guarding, it really helps us because he's a really good big guard. And, and I thought Trey, Trey gave us everything he had too. It's just, you know, we're, we're asking a lot. If you just look at those two guys alone, Trey and Keenan are right around 30, 30 plus um, in their young careers, and they weren't like that two weeks ago. And so we've asked them to do a lot, and I think the, they've done a lot. It was hard on, on Trey guarding Roddy for most of the night, and I think that affected his offense a little bit because his offense has been much better on this last road trip. Uh, you mentioned uh, health and a couple of times. Is there uh, any update on Warren? No, nope. not that I've been told. And Coach uh, Baker, with a relatively quiet night, what do you need from him moving forward? Yeah, I, I, I really do. I think I marked this up with Will. Um, I just his tank was low. I mean, he's a seven footer. Um, we've had major travel. We've uh, this was our just in a short stretch. Not even thinking about UNLV. Um, it, since UNLV, this was his third game in five days, um, playing every other day. That, that's hard, and I get that. And it's probably even harder on bigs, and that's why we, you know, KJ getting in foul trouble first half didn't help. I thought he, you know, showed some some life in the second half, but his foul trouble in the first half affected Will because Will had to play extended minutes in the first half, and I, I just I mark it up as because Will's been really playing well. I just think tonight his tank was very very low. Man, it's just like really disappointing just because it's like, it just takes away from the night because it was like, man, because I put so much blame on myself sometimes when we lose games because I'm not playing well. And then today I play well and it just felt like we were never in a game, you know? It was just, we were fighting uphill battle, uphill battle. And it's just, it's just disappointing. I can't, I can't even say anything else, but um, yeah, it's just a tough one. Mentioned that he appreciated your your effort. Said you were not even seventy five percent. I was wondering, could you update us on how you're feeling and and, and uh, how tonight went for you? Um, I mean, obviously, I mean, I guess everybody can see that I'm hurt. So, I mean, I'm just trying to go out there, play as hard as I can, just play with my team because I, you know, they're like brothers to me. So it just kills me when I can't be on the court with them. And you know, I always want to try to play the game that I love to the best of my ability, but I just can't right now. So. Just got to get back to the draw the board. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Keep seeing the doctors every day and stuff like that. And just try to get healthy as fast as I can. And Grant, uh, your coach is up here saying, as a player or a coach, he really hasn't been through any sort of streak like this before. Have you before? And just how much has this streak just taken its toll on you? Um, yeah, I've never, <laughs> I've never went through a six-game losing streak. I've never been on a losing team. 
So, I mean, it's different for a lot of guys because I don't know how many dudes have been on losing teams. So, I mean, of course it takes a toll on you mentally, but, you know, basketball isn't everything. So you can't just, you can't just take it out. Like, cause I know Dan's always super hard on himself, but you gotta, you gotta find a way to enjoy life too. Just, just because like basket, this college basketball is very mentally draining, especially when you're losing games. It's very fun when you win, but when you lose, it's not fun. So, you know, you just gotta take a step back and think about the things that you can be grateful for in life. You know, it's kind of going off what Grant just said. Um, Coach mentioned he thought um, players up and down the lineup, I think he called it empty tank. He said the tanks were just a little bit empty. And uh, all these games, they've rescheduled some guys and all that. Or, or, would you agree with that, that sometimes you guys maybe go for that extra thing and the tank is just empty? Man, I would definitely say that's a really big factor. Just because, you know, we've had, what is it, three games in the past five days. Uh, we've been without Grant and Warren, two of our starters, you know. Um, then, so we're not really deep. We got about eight guys and, you know, Jalen, um, the freshman, he's not getting a lot of burn, so it's really only seven. So everyone is playing hard. And um, since we've been playing, you know, so not not up to our standards lately. Like everyone has really been pushing and really trying their best, you know, to uh, turn this ship around. And uh, like last game, I played 40 minutes. I didn't come out the game. And uh, that that takes a toll on you. And I thought I was going to do it again today, but I felt that fatigue, um, you know, in the first half. So everyone's just really pushing as hard as they can because we really we really feel like we feel the yeah. Of course, it's pressure, but at the end of the day. We're, we're we're doing this for ourselves because like six losses like dude it, it like he said it's mentally draining like dude this is not fun and and our life like it affects our life like on a day-to-day -day basis so you know we're just trying to put as much as we can into it and uh hopefully we'll get the results we want if we keep working hard and you've already mentioned that you're disappointed and all that but the coach did point out that he thought that not just tonight i mean tonight was spectacular but he that I think he mentioned three games in a row that, that that's you know the, the Desmond we need basically. Have you felt on a personal level? Have you felt more in touch with the game in, in this three game? Yes, most definitely. Especially that away trip that we just came off of. We were away for a week, and um, so we were really just I was really just focused on basketball, I'm really just um, studying my game and why am I not producing like how I should because you know I was playing pretty good last year and it was like it was a drop off and it was like why 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 is that so I had a lot of time to reflect and really think and at the end of the day um I just had to play hard and play for my team at the end of the day take what the other team gives you it was like I was forcing it thinking too hard and you know when because when you lose you start to rethink everything you do and it's like you can't do that um, I've been doing this this is my fifth year in college so I know how to score the ball I know how to play basketball it's just it's been so mentally uh, draining these pat this season, so I just had to figure it out, get out of my slump, and uh, just play for my teammates. Good things are happening. Graham, is there, I'm curious. You you see everything on the floor from your spot. And, and is there anything you can point to that would be a, a quicker fix than a, you know something else? I mean, a factor you guys could could introduce to get rid of the, the losing streak, or is it is that too simple? I mean, coach says it all the time. If he can make, if he can wave a magic wand, he would do it. If he could make wave, uh, wave a magic wand and get somebody that much better, he would do it each and every time. So I mean, it's not just one certain thing that you can do. I mean, we just we're struggling as a whole as a team, so we just have to just stay together and just try to persevere, persevere. Because in chapel today, that's all they were talking about is perseverance. So we just gotta keep our head down. We keep getting the line, we're getting close, we're getting close, and hopefully we can bust through the line and start getting some wins. Last time we, I, I can't remember if it was you guys, but I don't think it was. The last time we were all in here for a post game was Utah State, which was a low point. Do you think comparing that day and today, at least the, the effort, the desire, that sort of thing, it, it has gone way up since that Utah State loss? 100%, I mean, I'm proud of the guys tonight, even though we didn't get it done. I feel like everybody left it out on the court. Everybody played super, super hard. And sometimes in basketball, you play super hard. Sometimes you can't win. So, I mean, I think the effort's there. We just got to keep going. We got to keep going and just keep clicking on offense and defense.